Hi dear students, this is Dr. M. Swarnalata, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Dr. MGR Educational Research Institute, University. In this session, we will discuss about diffraction grating. Diffraction grating is a very interesting and important concept in wave optics. Diffraction grating is used to determine the wavelength of a light source. What is diffraction? It is nothing but a bending of the wave or its deviation from the original direction of propagation when it meets a small obstacle. This is called diffraction. Diffraction grating is a plain sheet of transparent material like glass with a large number of opaque rulings made on it. There will be about 600 rulings per millimeter. The transparent spaces and rulings are equally spaced. Thus, diffraction due to a plane transmission grating is an equivalent to large number of equidistant slits of equal width. The space between the rulings acts as a slit. Here, Mn represents a section of plane transmission grating. A, B, C, D are successive slits of equal width A. B, C, D, E, E, F be the rulings of equal width B. Let E is equal to A plus B. Let a plane wavefront of monochromatic light of wavelength lambda be incident normally on the grating. Let us consider the secondary diffracted wavelets which makes an angle theta with normal due to grating, due to the uh, normal to the grating. According to Huygens principle, the points on the slits A, B, B, C, C, D acts as a source of secondary wavelets which spreads in all directions on the other side of the grating. Let us consider the secondary diffracted wavelets which makes an angle theta with normal to the grating. The path difference between the wavelets from one pair of corresponding points A and C is Cg is equal to A plus B sin theta. It will be seen that the path difference between waves from any pair of corresponding point is A plus B sin theta. The point P1 will be bright when A plus B sin theta is equal to M lambda, where M is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. In the undiffracted position, theta is equal to 0, hence sin theta is equal to 0. A plus B sin theta is equal to 0, which satisfies the condition for brightness. Hence, the wavelets proceeding in the direction of incident rays will produce maximum intensity at the center O of the screen. This is called zero order maximum. If A plus B sin theta is the sin theta 1 is equal to lambda, the diffracted wavelets inclines at an angle theta 1 to the incident direction of the first order maximum is obtained. Similarly, for the second order maximum, A plus B sin theta 2 is equal to 2 lambda. In general, A plus B sin theta is equal to M lambda, where M is an integer of the order of maximum intensity. Sin theta is equal to M lambda divided by A plus B gives the number of grating element or number of lines per unit length of the grating. Thank you.